Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to the world of Shovel Knight! Whoa! Steal thy shovel with the last of the Shovel Knight DLC! At last, the King of Cards is here, starring King Knight! <gasps> King Knight? Oh my gosh! Special shout-outs to our friends over at Yacht Club Games for providing a code before the game came out, and we are ready once again to dive back into the magical world of Shovel Knight. Whoa! In the comments section below, tell us your favorite character in this franchise, and yes, we will be looking at the sequel whenever Sean and company decide to release it, which will have 16-bit graphics. Whoa! Whoa! Stepping it up with the 16-bit graphics. Wow! We're just gonna go with Aww, King. Oh, he looks so cute! Yes, so King Knight is always the first boss, and now we get to play his story. Wow, this is awesome! Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Ooh! Yes. By all appearances, peace has flourished and carefree new pastimes have taken hold. Oh? Well, that's nice. Oh no. A card game called Just Justice has swept the land and with it a word of grand tournament. I think it's like Joustice, like ah, as a jousting. Okay, Joustice. Proceeding over the contest are three Joustice judges. These wise kings have been chosen to spread joy and unity. I said it wrong again. Oh, that's nice. This contest is of great interest to King Knight. No, oh, you said it right, actually. For though some call him a fool who plays at king, even fools know this. Mm. Whoever defeats all three judges will win an incredible treasure and be crowned King of Cards. Wow, that sounds awesome. Oh, I see where they're going with this. So King Knight believes if he beats them, then he'll be crowned king. Competing for the crown is no simple matter, but King Knight schemes undeterred toward a kingdom of his own. Aww. And if you guys don't know, the DLC of Shovel Knight, you play as the bad guys, or rather, the badder guys. King Knight has such a noble dream. Yes, he does. Oh my gosh, just and... hearing that old music again, dang. We looked at the first Shovel Knight game in 2014, then Plague of Shadows in 2015, and Specter Knight of Torment in 2017 when the Switch released on March 3rd. Which yeah. Was kind of a big deal. I was just thinking back to when we covered Shovel Knight and Plague Knight. I sounded like such a fangirl or whatever of the game. I couldn't stop talking about how great it was. And you still do. I was just like... I... I don't know, it's just... I, I couldn't believe that the people at Yacht Club Games had actually seen our channel and stuff like that. It Millions was... of people have seen our channel, honey. So, yeah. <laughs> the big difference between uh, King Knight, as opposed to Plague Knight and Spectre Knight, which Spectre Knight was probably my favorite of the DLC characters to play as, because I could use this voice! Yeah! <laughs> but, um, King Knight, he bounces off walls and does kind of like a spinny nobility thing, but he has no main attack other than charging at things, which is going to change up the gameplay mechanic even more so than we had in the previous installments. So, yeah, yeah that's going to make for well, some pretty challenging things. Yeah, I mean, like, I knew that they knew of our channel, but it's like... I couldn't believe when we met them at one of, like the first game convention we met them at, some of the people that worked, um, I, th I forgot if it was Way Forward or... Way Forward, yep. Uh, ...that other air place said that they actually would sometimes, like, watch our channel, like, for fun, like, together as employees in that company, and I was just like, Oh my gosh! <laughs> like, <laughs> they're like, Oh my gosh, these are the gaming couple! They, we watch you guys! And I was just like, Oh my gosh! Like, because we were super fans of Way Forward, we played every Way Forward game ever. We and have looked at pretty much every Way Forward game, and we have looked at pretty much every uh, Yacht Club games. Because yeah. <laughs> remember that Ninja game, even though we didn't finish The Messenger. Very hard game, by the way. Um, oh, there's our first death. The Messenger mm. was done by Yacht Club Games. They oh, were the wow. ones who published it. Yeah. I Ow. Well, I was just thinking, like, um, that in that one game that we did, Double Dragon Neon, mm. uh, like what you were telling me, Sean did the, 
the voice of the Skeletor character, but yep. I was surprised that um, somebody actually made like a Skeletor-like voice for that character because in many many times that there's a skeleton character, people don't do a Skeletor-like voice, and it's such a missed opportunity. So I yes, I commend Captain Ooh, Sean for that. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think I might have missed. So yeah, if you guys don't know, um, they well the company that made this is actually a lot of them used to work for uh, Way, Way Forward. Forward. Yep. And then they created their own company, Yacht Club Games. Yep, that's the story of Yacht Club Games, and they're a great, talented group of people, and we enjoy working with them. And really nice. Too. They've actually released two games uh, for the Switch. Well, this is a three, four game. Never mind. Uh, King Knight is not the only game that Yacht Club released today, or when today rolls around. They also released a Smash Brothers Shovel Knight clone uh, called Shovel Knight Showdown, which will be actually live streaming later tonight. So come back for that, guys and gals. It'll be around 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We'll be playing the Shovel Knight Smash Brothers clone with 8-bit graphics. Oh, I remember that game. Yep, awesome. they finally have released it. Oh, so, wow. That game was also provided us by our friends over at Yacht Club, so thank Wee. you. Oh, wait, it's a diff... So it's not the not the game that Shovel Knight guest starred in. It's a whole new um, Smash Brothers-like type game. Looks like that. Shovel Knight Showdown. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <gasps> Yes, it's a brand new game, and it's a Smash Brothers Battle Royale game with all Shovel Knight Yacht Club Games characters. So I don't wow. know if there's going to be any guest characters from the... Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, we've oh. got dragons again. Aha! Pirouettes! I think that's like a pirouette. What is that, like a spinny dash attack? Um, oh my gosh, look, I actually did take ballet for a while, but I'm trying to remember... I think it is a pirouette if you spin around. What the heck is that? Oh. Oh, that's the end. What? That was a short level. My gosh. Okay. Well, I guess we're not done yet. Works for me. The Mossy Mountain Plains. Shine your crown. Oh, instead of steal thy shovel, shine your crown. <laughs> that's right. The bad guys all had that's their... Uh, their stuff, but the thing is, what I loved about Shovel Knight is they're not really bad guys, per se. Everybody is kind of doing their own thing, and they're just kind of like the bosses that Shovel Knight has to defeat. Yeah. I mean, they all show up in the endings, but the bad guys stuff is all about uh, the prequel of how they came to be. So we saw kind of how the romance between Plague Knight and uh, that one girl happened. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, I still nice. don't understand what Spectre Knight's story was about. Yeah. I mean, he was an incredibly awesome character to play as because of his scythe and his air combos and mm -hmm. all that other stuff, but they really increased the difficulty for that game. This one feels that it's geared more toward platforming, which is fine. Mm -hmm. And the levels feel a lot shorter. But I think it's because you only have one means of attack, which is this kind of charging dash ability. I, I was hoping we'd see oh, yeah. some of his attacks that he did against Shovel Knight, where he had, like, the sword, and he had, like, this fanfare that he would call down, mm. things like that. But Ma maybe I he mean, gets these weapons? I don't know. Maybe he'll, he'll be able to do more stuff. Well, I like how each game that they're doing... Well, I mean, this will probably be the last one. I can't imagine they would do every single night. This is the last of their Kickstarter yeah. uh, DLC stuff because so, they have a brand new game coming out that's a 16-bit Shovel Knight oh. based on Dig Dug, which is a, another property apparently those guys have really liked. So they're oh, kind wow. of distancing themselves from the traditional side-scrolling platformer game, and they're going with literally a digging game where the whole premise of Dig mm. Dug is you dug. I thought when we were doing interviews like so long ago, I remember you long mentioning something like... It'd be cool if you guys did, like, a... Super Nintendo game? Yeah, Super mm. Nintendo. Is that what 16-bit is? Or... Yes. Oh, so that's pretty cool. So maybe there was some... I don't know. Maybe there was a little idea there. So that know. means Shovel Knight 3, uh, sometime in 2028, or, you know, something like that. I don't know. Maybe 2030, we'll have a 64-bit Shovel Knight game. Because it took them quite a while to make a 16-bit one. Oh, yeah. I mean... 
I feel like so much work goes into these games because it's like... It just feels like they are just putting so much love into the games that... Like, I just feel like sometimes... I, I mean, I feel like a lot of a lot of game developers put a lot of love into their Ooh. games, but... Like, this is, like, incredible. Like, just... Every little detail on things like that in these uh, Shovel Knight games are amazing. And of course, uh, Vert from Double Dragon Neon and Shovel Knight fame is back doing the score once again. Yeah, we just love pretty much everything that he writes his music. Mm -hmm. I think he did the music for The Messenger, too. I don't know, though. It's possible. Ooh. Yeah, well, if we ever end up continuing that, which... I don't know if we would because we, the reception, I don't know how it was on our channel, but um, I would have to remember what voice I was doing for the different characters. Oh my gosh. I, I, I remember I was the um, shopkeeper in that. Yes, you were. I was proud of myself for that. The homestead? What is this? Who's that lady? Oh, my little prince. Did you return to save the day with the ingredients that I requested? Mother, I am no prince. I am a king. And mother, kings have subjects. Who do their bidding for them? Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, my precious love. Those are rats, not subjects. <laughs> my rats are loyal to the last. These are my starter subjects, part of my grand plan. The starter subjects. I must acquire a Jostis oh, deck and be declared the king of cards. I, this is far more important than errands. I think you mean Jostis. Don't question me, mother. All right, very well, your majesty. Well, you can't rule on an empty stomach. Please, valiant knight, eat something. 1,000. A hearty oh. meat pie baked with love by your mom. Oh, meat pies! Those are actually a thing! Yep. Like, from the... that time period. Yeah, that, so. that time period. Whatever. Long Back ago. Then. Medieval times. Oh my gosh, did it just give us an extra heart? I think it did! I think this is how you gain extra hearts in this game. Meat pie! I love the fact that they show his mom. That is kind of funny. Well That's, done, Yacht Club. It's hilarious because it's like he's trying to be all cool and like act like he's really great and stuff, and his mom kind of calls him out and is like, Your subjects are rats. And <laughs> <laughs> Spectre Knight! Ooh. All right, so Skeletor has returned, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if we can manage to get to him. You can always count on a mom to break your cool streak, like, and yeah. be like. When you're trying to impress your friends and stuff, suddenly your mom comes in and is like... Wait, does that... I mean, it would be funny if King Knight is like an older guy, but what if this whole time he's been a kid? Oh my gosh, that would be funny. I guess there's no way of knowing because he's behind that uh, armor there. Well, I mean, the mom looked pretty old, so I mean, he could be an adult or he could be a kid. I guess we'll I, never I know. hope he is an adult because I think that would be a lot funnier. Yeah. That, you know, he goes to his mommy's and gets yeah. food and stuff like that. If he's just like a, a youngling, a, a youngin, it just, eh. It would be weird. No, it, I... It doesn't, it doesn't have that same comedic impact. Oh, I think he is an adult because yeah. his mom looked really old, no offense. I mean, she had like oh white God. hair or something. So it's like, he probably is in, you know, I don't know. He's got to be in at least his 30s or above because his mom looks pretty old. I hope it's so. So it sounds like they changed uh, Specter Knight's theme again. They've they've made it sound more regal because you know he's supposed yes. to be a king. I've, yes, I've noticed that about they the music now. That. Vert is well, once again a genius because remember when we looked at Specter Knight stuff for the Switch launch, the music sounded kind of like uh, Castlevania e a little bit. Yeah, because Specter Knight was kind of spooky. Oop. I mean... What am I supposed to... What the... I okay. think you just have to bounce off the wall and then get up on those stairs. I don't think I can bounce off that green stuff. Oh. Alright, so we somehow so... have to bounce off this. Oh, there we go. There you go. Uh-oh. Uh... 
What up, Mr. Dragon? <laughs> oh, nice job. Whoa. There we go. So that's that's how you beat this fool. You jump on him with your jumpy powers. Your little feet. Instead of a shovel, you're just jumping with your feet. I miss playing a Shovel Knight, though. I'm looking forward to Shovel Knight Showdown. I thought that wasn't coming out until 2020, though. And I don't know when this game was supposed to come out. It feels like they've been developing it for such a long time. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean... Oh, it definitely does. I mean, thinking of how long ago it, it was that we actually looked at it. Two like, years ago was uh, Spectre I, Knight now. It, Playing this game again and the different sequels is definitely making me feel a little bit old. <laughs> it's like 2014 ooh. was kind of our prime years uh, wow. with um, stuff. Yeah. What's funny is our content really hasn't changed all that much from, well, you know. I never thought of that as our prime years. I thought things were just gonna keep going up. I mean, that's how YouTube is supposed to work, but yeah, that's true. Yeah. I misspoke. Apologies. Oh, no! No, no, I mean... Oh, second death. You, you didn't say anything wrong. I'm just wrong saying how I... Wrong say. Yeah. Oof. Okay. Um, he has a great cape, though, if you think oh, about it. Oh, dang it. it. Ah! I, I wonder if his character model is edited at all from the... No. ...original Shovel Knight, or this nope. is how he's always looked. This is looked. how he's always looked. Well... What I really like about these games is there's so much imagination, like, you can imagine him to look however you really want him to look under that mask. Mm -hmm. Because there's really no way to know. He's just, you know, this just guy. Yeah. And it was funny that he brought up the subject of royal rats, because remember the characters that uh, Shovel Knight fought in his kingdom were, were propeller rats? Yeah, so it's almost like he was... Oh, no. Maybe he was sending them out to attack Shovel Knight. It's possible. Something. I mean... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Yes. I remember seeing the rats the, the first time, and I thought, why is he fighting rats? Yeah, they were rats that had propellers on them. It was just very creative, but no offense, but very weird. <laughs> but very you never creative. Never were a fan of the propeller rats. Yeah, I mean, I think it, looking back at it now, it's like okay, that was really cool. I love how that you know that that's what i love about this game is that's what makes it so much fun to play is it doesn't take itself very seriously it has weird goofy stuff in it that's yep that's it has a lot of humor with it yeah uh okay that's a chasm of death there so we're just gonna avoid that i'm just thinking i'm realizing now there will be people watching this that have probably never played the original Shovel Knight. Oh, don't worry. We'll have the playlist <laughs> attached, people, if you want to check out this game. Uh, this was a labor of love by a company called Yacht Club Games, who grew up with things like, basically, we did. Castlevania, uh, Mega Man, mm -hmm. you know. Your quest to become king of cards has not gone unnoticed. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Word has reached the slums, has it? Am I to travel with an entourage of mangy beggars now? You shall remain <laughs> silent and heed my words well. You stand no chance unless you... Out of my way, you reeking husk. I won't humor panhandlers on my path to the crown. Justice. Justice. Dang it. The child in the guise of a monarch. I will teach you respect and the true meaning of fear. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, Spectre now they, Knight has returned. And now they battle. Yep. So Spectre Knight is the first boss that you encounter. So they change mm -hmm. it up a little bit. I love it. Yeah, I mean... Well, you can't obviously battle King Knight, right? Probably gonna battle them in a different order than Shovel Knight did. Yeah! I am bested! Wow. Nice! I like his little ending pose. That's cool. Eh, you are impudent, but quick on your feet. Hmm, interesting. 
Horrors, you touched my cape! Now I must launder away your disgusting filth! Oh my god. Take these and waste no more of my time, fool! A starter deck of the Joustus cards. Finally, your card quest can begin. Say what? What? A Joustus deck? Did you soil it with your witchery? <laughs> They're ordinary cards, you buffoon! Simpleton, seek the nearest house of Joustus and pay your roll! I'm gone! Away! So long, that was my only cameo in this game, probably! Mm. <laughs> yes! We'll miss you, Spectre Knight. We will, because Spectre Knight was amazing. Of course, you have the little bonus <gasps> areas that pop up. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of so many maps on so many old games with the little thing moving yep, back and yep. forth. But if you guys want to check out the original Shovel Knight, check out our playlist. We'll have uh, all of the different Shovel Knight playlists like located below. You can check them out. Wait. What is it? Oh, this is the next level. Oh! Oh! Smite it all! Had such a fine run I did. Ha! I'll never be good enough to challenge King Pridemore. My, my, is that a brand new Joustus deck? Perhaps we could go over the rules together. My mind is as honed as my armor. I heed no prior experience to defeat a knave at cards. Stand aside. I mean no disrespect, your highness, but you'll be trounced and your riches squandered without proper advice. I think <laughs> it would be wise and valorous for both of us to practice, my lord. Ready for a bit of brush up on the card playing parlance, sire? I don't know what that word is. I've never heard of it. Me neither, but I guess a lot of old English terms. Oh yeah, Yacht Club loves their old English. To win cards, you have to claim more gems than your opponent. To start, pick a card from your hand and place it on the board. Uh, mm. I guess they want me to put the squirrel? Is okay. that a rat? Oh, you're right, that is a rat. Okay. Uh, whoa. If your card covers a gem, you claim it. But you can't just place a card onto a gem, you have to push it on. Arrows indicate which direction your card can push. Oh. Push the card you already placed to claim the gem. But we don't have an arrow that can go there. What, this one? No, see, this squirrel doesn't have an arrow that can go towards the gem. Oh, we're supposed to push the squirrel. Oh. oh. Never mind, you figured it out. I guess I'd... As you can see, I claimed the gem by pushing your card. Push the card right to reclaim the gem yourself. Um. Right! Push the... No! The, that skeleton, you could have pushed it right. Oh, but you see, you can't push there. Your card is blocked by an opposing arrow. Uh... There's still a way to push my card off the gem. You can insert your card in between. Wait, what? Like that? Oh. Oh. The match is almost over. The game ends when the center squares are full. Each player must place a card on their turn, but the only move I can make will lose me the game. My hand is forced. Oh my gosh. I caught some of that. I think you did pretty well. You won. Open squares are full. Press A to continue. That seemed a little complex to me. A fine match, me lord. It's lovely to play for fun. In real games, the winner takes a card, you know, for keeps. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, whatever. Out of my way, peasant. That was nice of your, like, subject to help you with that. Alright, so these are places where or, you can go to uh, play cards. The commoner dude, or whatever he is. Uh... There's a chicken over there? Yeah, you know, the chickens. Hey there, your highness! I've got some of my merchandise to juice up your joust, joust this game! Why not have a look, yes? Uh, oh my gosh, these are expensive. A cheat beto, a gem thief, all cards on a gem flip to your... What? Uh, all your cards... Play all three of your cards in one hand at once? I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we could probably, like, save that if we're in trouble playing. Because can we use it more than once or no? Uh, that's I'm a good guessing question. you can only use it one time. 
Because you'd be so OP if you could use that every time. That was the guy who gave pri um, increased weaponry and stuff. Oh my gosh, mm. it's um, the Dark Shovel. What was his name again? Uh... Approach no further, fiend. Your shiny plate is blocking my surveillance. Oh, he's just a black knight. Mm -mm. As my rapid ascent to mastery has made clear, Joustice is a grand game of strategy. You play it being king, but this is no game. My peers have earned their banners in the Hall of Buff. Return to me when only you've bested them first. Oh. Well, that's Okay, so I guess we can go no further. You can- you may go no further, yeah. Oh, we found a... Oh! Don't forget to add this to your deck. Uh... A bod. Oh. oh, so we do have a lot of things in our deck. Got some interesting cards, I suppose. Uh... Oh, this is... These are things that are not in my deck? Oh, then let's add one of those. And... Uh... Oh, I see. So you can only have a certain number of cards in your deck. Hmm. It would appear so, yes. Okay. Yeah. I yeah, I added I added the card. Hooray! Good job, King Knight. Okay. So I'm guessing I would have to play these people. Well, already it's really cool to see that King Knight has a completely different backstory that I even would have imagined, so. Airships are a rare sight, huh? You never see them. Gotta be hard to get something so heavy off the ground. I wasn't trying to talk to you. I was trying to talk to this weird goat guy. Hey! Ah, what a delicious game. Is I mean delightful. I'm like a kid again. Oh, isn't kid like a goat or something? Kid. As you might have overheard, I've become unbeatable. Bah, care to butt heads? Uh, I guess so. Uh, I've deliberated over my deck for days, but now it's goat time. Oh, great. Are you gonna play him? I guess. I mean, playing cards is what this game is about, right? I think King so. Knight versus Goatitian. Oh. What else is a king to do uh... to pass the time? I feel like you were... If two arrows oh. are opposites, then they're gonna be like... Pressing against each other. I mean, you could just do that, Beetle. That'll there give him go. the gem, though. But it's giving you the gem right now. No, it's not. That's him. That's your card, I thought. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh. Well, you can always move him off the gem. He won't get it immediately. You could have put a card above it and moved him off of because he's gonna get the gem eventually, because... There, you can move it up there! Where? Uh, up, up on the gem, just... No, on the other gem, on the on the second row gem. No, the other gem. What other gem? The second row gem, there's three rows. You can place it on the gem. Can you show me what you're talking about? Second row gem, right there. You can't place a what? card on a gem. Oh, well then I have no idea what we're supposed to do. <sighs> mm. uh... I feel like we're gonna lose because I'm not sure. Can't you place it on the side of the gem? Like on the outside? You can't place it on the outside? Oh dear. Um. Hmm. Well, you could insert a card between the red on the bottom uh, left and do the- I would do the rat. Insert the rat- oh wait, you can't. Yeah, there you go. Insert it. There what is you it go. You can't push up a block card oh. by its opposing arrow? What? Because the arrow's pressing down, it counteracts it. It, it is a little bit like Sky Stones, a tiny bit. Uh, but not like the arrow means it's preventing you from. There you go. Uh, uh, well, that didn't work out well. Oh darn. Um, uh, can't I just? No. No. Hmm. 
This is rather... I feel like... Yeah. Well, if you want, you can press that beetle onto the gem and then press him off the gem again. Press who? who? I don't have another... Okay, well, right now, they took your gem on the bottom suit. So... Oh, that's not good. You can do that. Nope. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he might win. I don't know how to play the... Look, this is their first time really playing it, so... Yeah, that's true. I mean, we're not gonna... Oh, gosh. If it weren't me, I would just lose as soon as possible, and then we'd start over, because I think... Also, you don't have very... You had a lot of good cards that were in your side deck, and you didn't have them in your actual deck. You have a lot of bad cards in your actual deck. Like, you... We probably should have switched up our deck, like... We're not gonna be able to win because we don't have the greatest cards right now. He has way better cards. If you notice, you want as many arrows as possible on each card. Most of your cards only have one arrow. There you go. Wait, how did he move a card that was already on there? You can do that? No, you can't. As long as it doesn't have an arrow pointing in the other direction. Would you like me to try it, or no? Yes. Or, okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure that we're already doomed, but we'll try the best I can. Alright, so... I'm gonna try... that. Wow! Good job, Come on. Amber! No problem. Great job, honey. Uh, choose a card okay, to take. So you want to take one that looks... I would take the skeleton one. Personally. I have this card. Oh, then I don't take have this that card. one. Yeah. Cool. Great job. I'm, I, I'm surprised we won. I thought we were going to lose. <laughs> that It's very... Well, I mean, one thing I do think is really cool is that they actually created... A whole other game, huh? <laughs> within a game, so that's pretty awesome. They did create a whole another game within a game. It's kind of incredible. See, all that practicing sky stones did something. You there! You are a, uh, pulled fancy pants. Yes, you. <laughs> My friend and I have an offer for you. We need to talk elsewhere. Sorry, ah, uh, petitioners, but I am not accepting gifts from peasants, and I won't have a word of your pleasantries. Does the, uh, Joustus crown ring a bell? We bid you no harm and wish to hear your story, please, your highness. Mm, finally, some recognition of my status. Very well! I'll hear you out. Uh, heave to and grab the rope. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, wow, well, I'm- They're all gonna grab on. Wait, I'm- I'm getting loyal servants now or something? Um, it's possible. I mean, that's your dream, isn't it? To have subjects? This ramshackle monastery seems... Monstrosity seems ready to splinter to bits, but... I must say, this view of my future kingdom is quite remarkable. Uh, the uh, glide wing is a sturdy lass. My crew of fortune seekers depends on her, and we turn a mighty profit. And lately, we've had our eyes on the Joustus crown. But we need a champion who can outplay the King Pride more, and clearly you, my friend, have a magic touch. Mm. Oh, I assure you, the Joustus judges will be small work for a talent such as my own. Your Grace, I believe we have an understanding. If we work together, the glory will be yours. First up is King Pride more, a bearded noble with a razor wit. We're nearing his domain, Pride more Keep. But it will be a moment yet. Have a stroll around the glide wing and rest up. Welcome aboard. Wow, we have our own ship? Wait, we're on a ship? I believe so, yeah. Whoa! Awesome! So this is our kind of... You're living the dream. This is kind of like your... Uh, kingdom, in a way, right now. There's a witch! Grand must swap! His hall has been written. Let not the fate win. 
for in the pills they did shall I plain What shall I reveal to you? Request Mora! The number of times you've fallen in battle is two! Impresario! The total times you've spent adventuring is 33 minutes, 55 seconds! Obduratum Intrusio! The number of shoulder bashes you've done is 296! Cartadium! You found 5% of the exits! Oran Infiniosa! The number of gold you've collected is 58, 20, 5,000, 2, uh, 5,827! Ah, oh, that's nice to meet someone who's a true student of me! How do you keep track of such details, witch? What did you call me? Ah, I see. I know all because I'm not a witch! Okay. Well, that was... But you're flying on a broomstick. I know, right? I'm so confused. Hail, I sense unease regarding my presence. Dost thou wondereth why an apparition stands before ye? Well, not really, no. Hmm. In life, I was called the... Vicar of Vigor! You may have seen my many statues scattered across the land. Oh. Mm. Alas, I was prophesied, so I cannot find eternal rest, and I have no one upon whom to bequeath my treasured heirlooms. Perhaps you'd agree to take um, them off me hands. Wait, you mean like money and stuff? Okay. A healing hammer pound the hearts out of your enemies. Oh, so he gives you special things. Wait, he gives you new abilities? I think, or new weapons, or some different... Yeah, abilities. Pound the hearts out of enemies? Ooh. Oh! Oh, nice! Wow! I don't know, the, is this a... a That's girl? a girl bird. Oh, yeah. Sis prays to see here in the back. Fancy pants. When the guild ring creaks, I'm the gal with the grease. Okay, I have to figure out a better bird voice. I'll do a little freelance invented too. Wanna see? Uh oh. Maybe I'll try an English oh, accent for the the bird. Wow, I love this little hub world. This is fantastic. I feel like this music is like massaging my happy part of my body. It's like <laughs> it's just making me feel like so happy listening to it. It's so great. Hey there, King Man. I pilot this dainty little clipper, and I steer her through. My name's Doe. At your service. Uh, you're clearly cleared for departure. When you're ready, just leap off the bow. I will do no such thing. Anyway, mm. ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching Aww. the first episode of Shovel Knight. Yay. My adventure, King Knight. Thank you so much for watching, peasants. Like, comment, subscribe, and special shout out to our dear friends, Yacht Club Games, for providing a copy of this beloved franchise once again. And we hope you guys will stay tuned tomorrow for the second installment of our brand new Let's Play of King Knight. Until we meet again, Yay. God bless and happy gaming. Stay tuned later today for more Star Wars and uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. Bye-bye. Awesome.